let's get social, let's make it work, and let's make it work in a way that everyone knows already and is comfortable using. So this is our homepage. Uh, from here, you're going to see the most important thing about Jive, and that is that Facebook or LinkedIn is required. Uh, we would probably triple or quadruple our user count if we didn't do that, but we would significantly reduce the quality of applications that we're delivering to our clients. Um, if you notice some of the logos in the back, these are all our clients. We don't um, grab other job feeds. We actually work directly with those employers and post their jobs on Jive. Uh, seeing a lot of great familiar faces here. Um, one of the things that interested me, I'm kind of a geek, I, I spent time thinking about how accountability happens. And there's a funny story. Back in the Roman days, if you were an architect and you built an arch, uh, the last day when you put the capstone in, they would actually make you, as the engineer, sit under the capstone <laughs> for about a day. And if it worked, it worked. If it didn't, you're screwed. And interestingly, <laughs> people talk about how accountability is coming and going. You know, you see what's happening with WikiLeaks, but definitely in politics, in services, in education, and public sector, I think accountability is always something we care about. And I spent a little bit of time looking at, okay, how does accountability happen? And I went back to this um, study, much smarter than I, that was done by McKinsey, and they did an analysis that said, three things typically have to happen for an industry to get more accountable. One of them is you have to have a, a level set of standards. The second was there has to be consequences, both positive and negative. And the third is it's gotta be measurable. So I wanted to show you how I think, you know, generally I'm tying this back to the industry. The first of which is I think there's no argument that we're starting to see more and more standards of online recruitment in terms of cost per lead, cost per hire, cost per applicant. You start to see that a lot of performance measures, and I apologize for the, the size of this, everybody's moving towards uh, some sort of performance metric. If you look at the bottom, it shows, sorry, the top is 2005. Only 5% of all marketers were confident in the spend of the tools they were using, which is moving up to 25%. And flying blind, 26% of the people five years ago in 2005 were flying blind. Now they feel much more comfortable. So I think we're getting some relative standards generally in recruitment, sorry, in online advertising. The second thing is that people are definitely voting with their wallets. And you start to see, none of us said this is all old information, where you start to see the share of dollars moving more and more towards um, something that's accountable, something that's performance-based. And what's interesting to me here is that um, there are consequences. You are seeing companies like Jive who can say, I've got a deliverable, pay me on it, are resonating well in the, audit, in the recruitment world because they're not just asking for money, they're proving their worth. And then on the last section on measures, this was kind of my attempt. I worked with a couple people to, to, to get this through. This is a, a quick and dirty reflection of where the industry has moved. Uh, you kind of go from what I call post and pray, the career builder monster model, which is great, worked well in its time. And you definitely see a sense of accountability moving to pay per click with simply hired and indeed. Uh, our company at Real Match is really moving towards pay per qualified app. And you even got one step further with companies like Bounty Jobs that I'm a fan of where you're getting on pay per hire. And clearly the meter is, is moving into that direction. So uh, again, I, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I just thought it was a, a great topic to kind of talk about in the midst of what you guys are seeing. And would love to shut up and kind of get some feedback about your expectations, your customers' expectations about accountability. Um, you know, from a sales perspective even, when you guys go out into the market, is it easier, is it harder when you do have something to back up with performance? So thanks, but I just wanted to stir the conversation.